Uh, Potsdam army is now in deep trouble and in particular the, uh, the left wing here of the German allies uh, is in deep trouble. Um, they have now only got five of their original uh, nine units uh, still on table. Uh, if they lose another one they'll have to take an army morale test for that command uh, which if they fail the whole uh, command will, will uh, withdraw from the table. Even worse they have a uh, two units with just a single life left so they're going to need to try and reorganize. So uh, this unit I'm going to try and, and break off from uh, the, uh, the uh, combat they're in. Uh, that will um, mean they'll be able to fire uh, which they're slightly better at and also it means that the uh, opposing unit might fail to contact them again. <coughs> Similarly we want to wheel here to line up uh, and organize this defensive formation here. So starting here, this is going to uh, back off. Um, uh, break off movement is uh, an action test, which they fail on a one or two. Uh, so they have passed. So they withdraw like so, and uh, this unit can line up. Uh, this uh, front unit here wants to wheel slightly to so as to provide support here. So that's an action test, which fails on a one or two. So four, they succeed. I'm not going to do anything aggressive there. I think we just need to play for time. And finally, this unit is in column going this way. Uh, so it needs to, uh, uh, to uh, move, continue across like so. And, uh, and now change into line facing this way uh, to provide some kind of support to these units. So changing into line for these guys is an action test and fails in a one or two and they've succeeded in that as well so they're now facing this way. <coughs> That's probably as good as we can do for these guys. <coughs> Let's now look at the other flank. On the right flank I think the, uh, the Swedish uh, cavalry need to press forward to try and defeat their opponents and hopefully that will give them the opportunity to uh, deal with the uh, the collapse on their left which looks imminent. Uh, so uh, these units will press forward to attack here and, and here and move forward and they will continue the firefight here. Uh, I'll uh, do those action tests now uh, for, for the, uh, the various uh, uh, combats and we'll see how it goes. Okay so uh, uh, these cavalry moved into contact, uh, the uh, commander had to use his uh, command ability to, uh, to get this unit to to uh, move into contact which seemed a bit reluctant uh, which meant that it couldn't then help this unit which failed to cross the, uh, the stream uh, but uh, the units have moved into contact and so now uh, we must roll for uh, the light horse here if you recall light horse can uh, break off when contacted by opposing units uh, which is an action test which they fail on a one or two uh, one so they failed and they've finally been caught by the uh, opposing cavalry. Time for combat. Now on this flank, the, uh, I'm going to commit the artillery into support uh, for here. Attempt to do something here. Uh, there are only two uh, morale tests. So this unit here must take a morale test uh, for being shot at by uh, these guys. Uh, so they uh, get plus one for rear support because they're uh, early tercios and they automatically get that uh, and plus one for being elite uh, which is what the red marker means so plus two overall uh, they roll eight which is ten and they pass uh, this unit uh, receives plus one for being with support but it is under artillery fire so that makes it a uh, straight dice roll no it rolls and scores nine and they also pass uh, here there's another firefight continuing uh, the, this unit uh, receives a plus one, in fact they both receive a plus one for rear support and there's no other factors that apply. <coughs> so this unit here rolls a plus one and scores seven and goes to eight and succeeds. Uh, the unit, next unit, this one here, uh, also gets plus one and rolls six uh, which is modified to seven. Uh, I could uh, take the uh, chance to uh, attach their 
to give them a re-roll but I think that's more important to be uh, kept for this unit here so I'm going to pass on that and just take a hit so uh, tertios uh, have uh, four morale failures so that means they are now down to three and I'll place a black marker on the unit to show that it's down to three now on to the cavalry uh, these uh, Carrasco's here, receive a plus one for the rear support from this unit, but they have been contacted by Swedish Star Cavalry, which gives them minus one, so it's a, they are on a straight dice roll. Roll the dice, and they have scored three. That would be uh, the unit is routed, but uh, the commander is uh, next to them, so he's going to join the unit and give them a second attempt to pass their morale, and they roll six so they have failed their morale test uh, but they are still uh, uh, still um, on the table so they receive a red marker and move behind uh, this unit here move them back. so uh, we must test to see if this cavalry is going to pursue uh, so they uh, pursue on a four five or six uh, they have their commander close, uh, but they are trained, so that cancels out. So four, five, or six to pursue. Uh, five, they pursue and move into contact here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, here, uh, this uh, light horse unit uh, receives uh, minus one because it is green, minus one for, because it's been contacted by. Uh, the Swedish Star Cavalry and minus two because it's light horse in uh, contact with an other, a non light horse unit. So a grand total of minus four and they score five, uh, which goes down to uh, one, so the unit is eliminated. <coughs> uh, we must now test to see if this unit, what this unit will do, whether it will pursue. So uh, it, it gets a uh, plus one because it's trained, but a uh, no other minus, no no other minus uh, for for any other thing. So it's three, four, five, or six. It will pursue. So it rolls and scores one, and doesn't pursue. Uh, that completes the Protestant turn. Let's now see what the Catholics can do to respond to this 